Do you need a breast MRI if you're diagnosed with breast cancer or for high-risk screening? We will teach you all about it. Breast MRIs are used more and more for newly diagnosed women. To learn more about your breast cancer before you have surgery, it can help with planning your surgery with your surgeon. They also play a role in screening women felt to be at very high risk for developing breast cancer in their lifetimes. MRIs are not perfect, but they are here to stay. In this lesson, I'm gonna tell you what an MRI is of the breast and what to expect if you're going to get one. I'm gonna tell you the benefits of an MRI if you're newly diagnosed with breast cancer and also the benefits and how MRIs are used if you are felt to be at a very high risk for developing breast cancer. I'm also going to share with you the downsides of an MRI and when and how to ask your physicians about whether you will benefit from a breast MRI. So let's get started. What is a breast MRI? You've heard of MRIs of the back or the arm or the leg or the joint or the brain. MRIs of the breast is a neat technology that allows us to look deeper into the breast and find things that a mammogram and ultrasound may not see. If you're gonna undergo a breast MRI, it is like every other MRI and it cannot be done in an open MRI. So this is your classic lay down, go through a tube, lay down on your stomach, and the breast goes through an opening so the imaging system can see your breast. You do have to have an IV and a little contrast to get a good breast MRI. It's well tolerated, but if you're claustrophobic or you are really obese, then you might not fit into a breast MRI machine. Why a breast MRI if you're newly diagnosed with breast cancer? Well, once you're diagnosed, usually with a needle biopsy, you go and you visit your breast surgeon to outline your treatment plan. Breast MRIs are being used more and more before surgery for surgical planning and to find other things. So the biggest benefit of having an MRI before you go to surgery is that it can give more information about your breast cancer, the size of it, the shape of it, maybe extends in areas that we don't see on mammogram or that we cannot feel. It can find in about 15% of women another breast cancer in that breast that we don't otherwise know about, that we haven't been able to find yet. And it can also detect a breast cancer in the other breast in about three to five percent of women. Not everyone benefits from an MRI or some benefit more than others. Those that benefit the least are the elderly, women with very fatty breasts. That doesn't mean bigger, it just means their breasts have less dense tissue within it. And women that are claustrophobic, very difficult to get through a breast MRI. But those that benefit most are younger women. Younger women have denser breasts and women with very dense breasts. We can really see into the breast better than we can with a mammogram or ultrasound. If you have the breast cancer gene, the BRCA mutation, that is a good reason to get a breast MRI, especially before surgery. There are other indications, but it's being used more and more before surgery to help plan out your breast cancer treatment. So why get a screening breast MRI along with your mammograms if you are at high risk for developing breast cancer? Women, who are deemed to be at a very high risk for developing breast cancer in their lifetime, benefit or should consider a breast MRI in addition to a 3D mammogram. So let me explain. You are felt to be at very high risk for developing breast cancer, you're getting mammograms, but should you add a screening MRI? And all this is what you work out with your physicians to determine if you're at high risk, and I'll cover that in a second. So if you are at high risk, then you can get a mammogram followed by an MRI six months later, followed by a mammogram six months later, by an MRI six months later, mammogram. And if you think about it, if you're at a high risk for developing a cancer in the future, 
We're now imaging into your breast every six months. So we're gonna find it when it's smaller and more curable. So who's at a very high risk for developing breast cancer and qualifies for a breast screening MRI? Well, it's a complicated situation. There are guidelines and recommendations, but I'll go over a couple. If you carry the breast cancer gene, the BRCA mutation, or another breast cancer causing gene mutation, you probably benefit from adding this into your screening. If you have a very, very strong family history of breast cancer and are felt to meet the criteria, you meet the criteria. We step back and use some calculators that a lot of physicians do not use in their practice, but if you've had prior biopsies that show under the microscope some high-risk features, a typical ductal hyperplasia, a typical lobular hyperplasia, LCIS, and you have a family history, you likely meet the criteria for getting screening MRIs. So what are the downsides or the risks of a breast MRI? A lot of physicians have concerns that we use MRIs of the breast too much because they lead to more biopsies and procedures that otherwise might not have been needed. So let me give you a couple examples. Number one, an MRI can find something and lead you down a pathway of getting a biopsy, going through a procedure, and it proved to be benign. Of course, there's a small chance it picks up a cancer we otherwise miss. But an MRI can lead to other biopsies and other imaging and the cost, the discomfort, the anxiety, and ultimately, it never needed to be biopsied anyway. So that's an argument. The larger concern about breast MRIs in women just diagnosed with breast cancer, so getting an MRI before surgery to help you decide about getting the best surgery. MRIs have been shown, the more women get MRIs, the higher chance that they choose with their breast surgeon to get a mastectomy rather than a lumpectomy, a less invasive procedure. So let me give you an example. You have a one centimeter breast cancer. You see your surgeon. The surgeon orders a breast MRI. The result comes back with seeing the one centimeter area, but it, there's some extension in one direction or another for two or three inches. We don't know what it is. We might run you through another biopsy. There's a suggestion of something in the other breast. And you're wondering if you want to go through two or three more biopsies or just have a mastectomy and not worry about it rather than a lumpectomy and take that one area out and hope that that enhancement and those other changes around the tumor are fine. It's a tough decision, so it raises sometimes unanswerable questions of breast MRI. But these are your choices and you have to decide whether you want more information about your breast cancer to make good decisions or you want to make decisions with less information. So when and how do you ask for a breast MRI? There are two situations. If you think that you're at high risk, engage your physicians about whether or not you are at high risk and may qualify for a screening MRI and ask them about this. And if your physicians are unsure, they will likely refer you to see a breast cancer specialist. If you were diagnosed recently with a breast cancer and you have not had surgery yet and you're talking with your breast surgeon, Ask them, will I benefit from a breast MRI before surgery? Will it find other things that we would otherwise address differently with surgery and other treatments? Most breast surgeons feel a preoperative MRI is generally a good idea. It is not a perfect study and can lead some to unnecessary procedures. But do you want to know everything about your breast cancer before you treat it? Engage your breast specialist and physicians about the benefits and risk of a preoperative MRI and also engage your physicians about whether or not you will benefit from a screening breast MRI if you're at high risk for breast cancer. To learn more about breast MRIs, visit the Breast Cancer School for Patients where we actually teach you everything you need to know. We're here to help you get the best possible breast cancer care in your community. Register on our website to get our list of questions to prepare you for your next doctor visit.